Imagine traversing a spiritual landscape where each hill represents a challenge in your journey to heaven. Today, we'll explore Don Bosco's prophetic dream that does just that, revealing the path to salvation through 10 mysterious hills. The Miracles and Prophecies of St. John Bosco, a project of America Needs Fatima. I'm your host, Adrian Fonseca. Subscribe for new episodes every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. In today's episode, we'll delve into Don Bosco's remarkable dream of the Ten Hills, a vision that offers profound insights into innocence, penance, and the spiritual journey that we all face. As we explore this dream, consider these themes. The value of preserving innocence in our spiritual life, the transformative power of penance in overcoming obstacles. And here's a question to ponder during the video. If your spiritual journey were a landscape, what would it look like right now? Oh, oh, and stay tuned until the end of the video too. Discover how you can gain deeper insight into Don Bosco's wisdom and apply it to your own spiritual journey through his own written words. But first, let's get into our story. In the last video, I told you about the dream of the 10 hills. I'll pick up where I left off, describing Don Bosco and the boys beginning the 8th hill. And even better, I will share with you Don Bosco's explanation of what it all meant. And that explanation will shock you. Don Bosco was relating a dream to his boys that he had the night before. They had traveled over the 8th hill, discovering that they had all aged a great deal. The march resumed. Now and then, the boys asked to be allowed to stop and look at the novelties around them. But he kept urging them on. We are neither hungry nor thirsty, he said. We have no need to stop. Let's keep going. Far away on the tenth hill arose a light that grew increasingly larger and brighter, as though pouring from a gigantic doorway. The singing that resumed was so enchanting that it might possibly be heard and enjoyed only in paradise. It is simply indescribable because it did not come from instruments or human voices. Don Bosco was so overjoyed with these sights and sounds and his dream that he awoke, only to find himself in bed. Now that he had the boy's full attention, Don Bosco explained the meaning behind his dream. The valley is the world. The bank symbolizes the obstacles that we have to surmount in detaching ourselves from it. The wagon is self-evident. The youngsters on foot were those who lost their innocence but repented of their sins. He also added that the ten hills symbolized the ten commandments, whose observance leads to eternal life. He concluded by saying that he was ready to tell some boys confidentially what they had been doing in the dream, whether they had remained in the valley or fallen off the wagon. Fortunately for you and me, several of Don Bosco's priests jotted down Don Bosco's dream and the explanation that followed that very evening. And then they added this intriguing note. We are sure that in explaining the dream, Don Bosco tried to cover up what is most mystifying, at least in some instances. The explanation that the Ten Hills symbolize the Ten Commandments does not convince us. We rather believe that the Eighth Hill on which Don Bosco called a halt and saw himself as an old man symbolizes the end of his life in the 70s. The future will tell. The future is now past. The facts have proven that their hunch was right, that the dream revealed Don Bosco's lifespan. For comparative purposes, let us match this dream with the wheel of eternity. In that dream, each turn of the wheel symbolized a decade, and this also seems to be the case in the trek from the hill to hill. Each hill stands for a decade, and the ten hills represent a century man's relative maximum lifespan. In his life's first decade, Don Bosco as a young boy began his mission 
among his companions at Becky and starts on his journey. He climbs seven hills, seven decades, and reaches the age of 70. He climbs the eighth hill and goes no further. He sees beautiful buildings and meadows, symbols of the Salesian society, which through God's infinite goodness grew and bore fruit. He still has a long way to go on the eighth hill and therefore sets out again. But he does not reach the ninth because he wakes up. As we know now, he did not live out his eighth decade. He died at the age of 72 years and five months. Oh, and one more note of intrigue. When Don Bosco came down from the stand after telling his dream to the oratory boys, a pupil, Anthony Ferrasi, approached him. Anthony then told the saint within earshot of others present that the night before he had dreamed that he was with his mother and that when his mother asked him whether he would be coming home for Easter. He had replied that by then, he would be in paradise. He then whispered something else in Don Bosco's ear. Anthony died on March 16, 1865. As we reflect on Don Bosco's profound vision of the Ten Hills, we are reminded of the depth of his spiritual insights. What if you could dive even deeper into Don Bosco's wisdom, exploring his thoughts on our journey to heaven in his own words. Dive into the mind of a saint. Our monthly promoters get exclusive access to St. John Bosco's powerful writings. Imagine holding his roadmap to heaven in your hands or exploring sacred history through his visionary eyes. These aren't just books, they are spiritual treasures that can transform your faith journey. Picture yourself curled up with Don Bosco's wisdom, discovering secrets of holiness and miracle workings. His words will challenge, inspire, and guide you on your path to heaven. Ready for a spiritual adventure? Become a monthly promoter now and let St. John Bosco be your personal spiritual guide. The link is in the description box down below to sign up today. Don Bosco's dream of the 10 hills is a powerful allegory for our own spiritual journeys, reminding us that while the path to heaven may be steep and challenging, it is not beyond our reach. With faith, perseverance, and the guidance of saints like Don Bosco, we can overcome any obstacle and reach the summit of our spiritual calling. The key lessons that we can draw from the story are that innocence is a precious gift, one that we must protect and cherish throughout our lives. Our spiritual journey often requires not just our personal effort, but the support of a faithful community around us. Though the path to heaven can be difficult, it's achievable if we hold fast to our faith and continue to persevere. Even when the way forward seems unclear, we must remain ever vigilant, knowing how easy it is to stray from the right path. Remember, the choices we make in this life carry eternal consequences. So what did you think about today's episode? What stood out to you the most? I would love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below because I try to respond to as many as I can. Thank you for joining me today. St. John Bosco, pray for us. May God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you.